one. Pick, pick, pick. Long phrases. <laughs> you picking the long phrases is not my fault. Do mar. Do mm -hmm. mar. Is this together? Gewoon. Gewoon is separate. Gewoon. Mm -hmm. Dan do je al gek. 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 Sounds like he's dying. <laughs> gek. It's a G E K. Gek. Gek. Ooh, do maar gewoon. Dan <laughs> doe je al gek. Genoeg. Genoeg. <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> All right, hello and welcome to another video. <laughs> we are all in black, some shade of black. It's good to be here. You're looking good. Thank you. Yeah. So today, as you can see, why do I always say as you can see from the title? No, okay. Today, we're going to do something nice, cultural exchange, if I should call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome to Me Plus You Is Us. My name is Kwame. <laughs> I'm Elaine. Because I knew that thing was lurking. She was going to remind me. Who are you? Mm. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to do a bit on language and five... Five essential words. That you should... Or phrases that you should know. From the other culture. From the other culture. So I'm originally from Netherlands. And I'm from Ghana. Yes. So I think that... But if you have to explain which language you are choosing in Ghana. I'm because choosing you have Chi, which is one of the Akan dialects. Mm. Chi is the most widely spoken language in Ghana. How many it's languages of, are there in Ghana? I can't give you an exact number, but put it I on know the screen. it's, yeah, I'll put it on the screen if I, if I do my research, but it's a lot of languages spoken in Ghana. And one, even in the Akan dialects, there's Chi, there's Fanti, there's Ikiapim, there's, 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 there's a lot. Mm. Not a lot, but not So just. when you dream at night, which language do you dream in? English. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and we have a small boss. Yes. Hopefully, he'll keep quiet. Yeah. I'm just going to call grandma to come and help. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're back. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, Chi is one of the Akan dialects. And that's why I've chosen. Also, okay, as one of the... When you dream, you dream in English. I don't know if I know the language my dreams are in. Or even if I speak in my dreams, or what do I okay, think? Okay, I dream in Dutch. Yeah, do I think yeah. in English? Do I And dream so interesting in you ask. Netherlands has only two languages, Dutch and Frisian. Really? Yes. Why do you have Dutch and Frisian? Why is it not Frisian food, is in the food? north. Why are they Frisian? Yeah, they're like, have their own culture and their own language. So it's, a, it's, a, it's Dutch dialects, but slightly different. I can different. barely understand it. Whoa. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, you're going to be doing which, which one? Frisian? <laughs> no, I'm not from there, so I'm doing Dutch. You're doing Dutch. Okay. Yeah. So, absolute phrases and words. You need to know. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Give me one. Okay. I don't know if you know which one I'm <laughs> So, she's going to try and read it. Is she guessing her? Huh? Meko. Ah, the stretch. <laughs> Good. So I can't, or she in general is very tonal. Look at my husband's handwriting. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh, it's very tonal, so most of the things can mean it different means, things. It means, nice he asks, I already know what it means. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Yes. Yes. I am going. Yes. Like in the future. Yes. No, 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 no. Or? Or sometimes. I am now going. Yeah, like I'm going. Like if you're um, getting a taxi, for example. Mm. And you say, I'm going. So if you say, I'm going to, it's mm -hmm. like, I'm going to, me ko, and then you add the name of the place. So if you live at, me ko, me ko osu. Me ko adabraka. Exactly. Mm. Wow, show off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I chose that phrase because uh, for the most part, if you want to be moving around and somebody's asking you or you're getting a taxi or something, if it's not, if it's Uber, it's easier. You don't have to use that. But if it's a taxi, you're in a fix. You need to go someplace or trotro or something. Then you have to know that may call and a name mm. or the place where you're going is very important to get you to where you're going. But I already knew this phrase because in the trotro they say, yanko. 
Wow. Gosh, he's such a show. Ah, I mean, <laughs> my Chocho Bangala and I started in Chochos. So I, I knew that. Okay. So yeah. Yanko is like, we are going, right? Yanko is let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So it's like plural going. Yeah. But if the person says Yeko, then it's we are going. Like the way it's like Meko. But Yanko? Like Yanko when it, is let's go. Okay. But, but Yeko. Yeko. Is it's we, we are, are going, mm. yes. Okay. Just like Meiko is I am going, too. Mm. Are you ready? I did it a bit less practical, but it will still be fun. <laughs> I am more the practical one. Yes. Read it out loud. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Liefde? Mm? Of het eerst... Is this a, a, a T? Yes. Eerste. Eerste? Gezicht. What does it mean? Love. Mm -hmm. It's the. What does it mean? One. Eerste. Er it's the only. Love. F love first. Oh. Love first what? Sight. Lo wow. Gezicht. 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 Okay. Gezicht. Gezicht. Okay, so liefde op het eerste gezicht. gezicht. Ah, so love at first sight. Yes. But why would so you... So you need to know if you run into somebody and you're like, oh my God, this is her or this so, is so him. Is, so if I'm telling somebody het was... Liefde op het eerste, eerste gezicht. Yes. Oh. So let's say you're in Netherlands and you're in public transport or you're walking somewhere and like, whoa. Yeah, that's like the first one. It's like the first one. So Love it for a sec. Yeah. 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 Next word. Yeah. Give me. You go. I don't know if I've shuffled it. Medasi. Easy. Yeah. So I'm being very practical. <laughs> very, very practical. Because if we're going to come to Ghana, um, politeness is one of the ways that will get you uh, around easily. Mm -hmm. And people often, you know, loot let their guard down if you can be polite. Like, you know, you, you know how to say please, you know how to say thank you. So I'm being very practical. I'm using words that get you to places quite... So medase means... Medase is basically thank you. Thank you. And it's, it's, it's something that you need to be saying a lot. If after you, every sentence. Not after every sentence. Almost. It's, it's, more like, it's more like when you need help and somebody is able to offer their help. It's, it's medase. You buy something from the uh, store, they give you your item. Thank you, medase. And yeah, you're gonna throw Medasi around a lot. It's just mm -hmm. polite and it just be, let people let your guard down. Yeah. Good one. Pick, pick, pick. Long phrases. <laughs> you pick the long phrases, not my fault. Du mar. Du mm -hmm. mar. Is this together? Gewoon. Gewoon is separate. Gewoon. Mm -hmm. Dan du je al heg. Gek. Hek. Gek. Hek. Gek. <laughs> sounds like he's dying. Gek is a G-E-K. Gek. Gek. Oeh, doe maar gewoon dan <laughs> doe je al gek. Genoeg. Genoeg. <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> so it means just, <sighs> just act normal, then you're already crazy. Enough. So it's like a Dutch. Why did you go all out like this? <laughs> but you're doing it really well. Can you say it one more time? Do maar gewoon dan do je al heg. Gek. No way. Gek. 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 Yes. Genoeg. Genoeg. So it's more like a Dutch. Approach to life. <laughs> I feel like I didn't prepare for this video. I'm here trying to get people to places, trying to not get lost, trying to be polite. And no, but listen, just, listen, listen. Throwing me in the deep. <laughs> of course, always throwing you in the deep. <gasps> listen, it's I'm more like a, sorry. Um, it's more like a, a Dutch way, approach to life. Like, we like it, we keep things like grounded, 
Like, don't overdo stuff. Like, just be yourself. Normal like, is crazy enough. Yes, normal is crazy Let's enough. Let's not like, add to... Don't, don't, don't add to crazy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But there's also a downside to it. So whenever people are really good at things, Dutch people tend to, like, talk badly. Like, Modesty. Oh, like, she's uh, all that. But sometimes you're just... It's also good to own who you are and okay. also, like, what you... But it's more like Dutch people like to... I don't know. Be humble. Like, don't act crazy. Like, yeah. just be yourself. Act normal and you'll be fine. Yeah. So it's kind of a down-to-earth approach to life. To life, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I oh. can look at it. You can. I, I was mean. like, why are you doing it? It's a question. Okay. Ah. Uh, what what te brofo? Yes. Um, what te brofo? What te brofo? I don't know why I made mine uh, all about... Going? No, it's not even that. Um, Where... Okay, try. Where are you? Um, no. Good. Do you speak English? Ah, uh, is Brofo English? Yes. Wait, so we get Bruni is uh, like white person, but Brofo is white English. language English. Yes, but it is more like English. <gasps> Never English, knew. English. That's so Brofo. cool. Brofo. So what's a Brofo? Is I, now I feel like see, I feel very like. I came all functional to help you to navigate your way around okay. Ghana. If the first thing you're asking somebody, do you speak English? And the person says, oh, yeah. Then it's easy that, okay, now I want to go here. I'm lost. Can you help me? I want to buy this. I'm this. Can you do that? But it, I think it's interesting that so bro is, comes from Obruni. It's part of the Obruni um, word. Word. Brofo is uh, what we use for. Um, it's the word that says English, brofo. Yeah. So it's like for foreign language, like it yeah, means like foreign. The, the white man's language. Yeah, that's just really interesting. So it's a question that you ask. That is like origin. Yeah. Origin what comes brofo? from there. Yeah. Try that. What a brofo. What a brofo. What a brofo. <laughs> brofo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think the brofo, right? But then the whole sentence. What a brofo. What a. What a. Brofo. Brofo. So it's, it's tonal. It's, 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 people see how I'm struggling. <laughs> it's the tonal, it's the tonal nature of it. But yeah, if you do ask somebody and the person speaks a little English, you're they safe. Will, okay. Yeah. Or wouldn't they reply in tree because you're asking in tree? Yeah, but then if they reply in tree, oh, mitzi brofo, and then you say, okay, can you help me? And it says yes, of course. Then you're, you, I mean, I feel like mine is so boring. That's why I'm here to spice up your laugh. Yeah, you're definitely here to spice up my laugh. Oh, it's easy. Lekker. <laughs> lekker. And it's apart from the fact that it's easy, it's also lekker that it's lekker. That she gave me lekker. Yes. Simple. So, uh, so what does it mean? Nice. Yes. But you can use this for anything. Anything. Any question. Almost every question somebody asks you, you can say lekker. How's it going? Lekker. Yeah, lekker. How's the food? Lekker. Everything. How's your day? Lekker. And even if you want to... If you say somebody's really good looking, you yeah. say lecker ding. Lecker ding, yeah. Yes. So it's lecker you will you get around the Netherlands with lecker. <laughs> Learn lecker. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take one of mine. Mm. Oh. One of your functional ones. A very functional. Everything I've put in there is very functional. <gasps> Anne Dabi. I know this one. Anne is yes. Yes. Dabi is no. Basic. People will approach you. And they will ask things. Can you do this? Give me this, especially they give me this, and you know, you know, do this for me, or I want your number. Or I would. If you don't feel comfortable in doing that, then you can just say no or dabi. But often, if you don't want to come off, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't want to come off uh, as impolite, then you proceed either of the words with. Please. Hmm. And that's your next word. Yes. <laughs> so give it to me. <laughs> just, just, just finish it. <laughs> Me pacho. Me pacho. Me pacho. Yes. Me pacho. So me pacho is please. And we do a See lot. See how beautiful you write it. <sighs> no, I mean the word. Yeah. You would never guess that this is how you spell it. Sorry, I mean spelling. Ah. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> See how yeah, offended like the he was. But yeah, me pacho, yes. Me pacho. Me pacho. Beautiful written. Yeah. Me pacho is please. We, we, we go or we, we, we thrive a lot on um, politeness. Yeah. 
and me pacho dabi me pacho ane me pacho meko me pacho uti brofo me pacho can precede every word i have given you so it's like the base you know word for politeness i think honestly ghana really taught me how to be polite because dutch people are quite direct but now when i write a work email Kindly find the touch. Please, could you let me know, please, when to please? <laughs> <laughs> so even though I don't speak Chi, it's definitely part of, of the way Ghana you, culture. You, you like, speak, yeah. please, could you please, could like, kindly please. Yeah. It's all like, whatever you do, just put a please or my Somewhere, yeah, there. that it, it works. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I, I have to. I don't remember what I, Okay. Oh, that's very, the one I saw is very simple as well. <laughs> shade, shade. Oh, copia coffee? Copia coffee? What does it mean? I know coffee, but it's copia. So it means cup. Cup of coffee. Yes. And it refers to, so often when Dutch people meet up or you want to meet up, you say, shall we do copia coffee? Oh. <laughs> so it's like. Cup of coffee. Yes. It's, I think, hmm. I've thought about this, but I think it means it's like a a, a meet up, but it doesn't have to be long. So you just do an hour of kopje coffee, and also when you are networking in the Netherlands, if you want to like meet somebody maybe for a work opportunity or something. Why are you laughing? Yeah, no, oh, I'm just okay. smiling at you. If you <laughs> if you want to meet somebody for like a work opportunity, then in the email you can ask, shall we go, shall we go for a kopje coffee. coffee? Yeah. So it's really uh, even though the person doesn't drink coffee. Because the person knows it's like, oh, we, we got... We just meet up. Meet up for like a short while. Conversation. And a conversation. Yes. So it's, it's, uh, it's actually a really good tool. Copy co coffee. Coffee culture. Copy a coffee. Now, last one. Shine for me. Now, I have to say this very nicely. It has to be gezellig. Gezellig. Yes, it has to be gezellig. Because if you don't say it, and you say gezellig in such a way that gezellig, it doesn't make sense. What does it mean? Um, so this word doesn't have an English translation. Whoop, whoop. It doesn't, it's one of those words that are just Dutch. You can't oh. have an English translation for it. I'll be back. Which means uh, cozy. It means warm. Nice. It means nice, like it means chill, you know, like you in, in social circumstances or even in interactions, if yeah, it's, you are enjoying yeah. somebody's company, uh, this is, this is yeah, you know? it's about the atmosphere. Yeah, it's atmospheric. It's, it's, it's not a direct translation. You can't, you know, it's, if it's uh, not it's, yeah. then you know also that it's a bit hostile. So it's, it doesn't have an English translation. See how I'm talking about this? Like I, I, I came up with a word. <laughs> but do you have you experienced the gezellig feeling? Like this, you're like, oh, this was really gezellig. Yeah. 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 What do you mean? Have I experienced it? Where? You like mean? in the Netherlands. Like, of do you understand why there's a word, separate I've, I've word had for several, it? I've had several gezellig moments with. <laughs> with <laughs> it's a difficult word. <laughs> I've had several gezellig Because moments. it's all about the feeling it Yeah, uh, I've had several, It's like a warm feeling, like you felt. Uh, we have uh, dinners with your siblings or going to your parents or um, when I have dates, uh, boulder climbing with Colette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were very... Uh, and, and, like, and, and, yes. and when we went all together, me, uh, Shured, Ty, yeah, those were... Gezellig. Very <laughs> you know, so I enjoy those. You know, those are some of the words that you need to. Lekker, mooi, gezellig. They're good words. They're good words yes. that you should know in Dutch. Yeah. yeah. Look at me talking about, you know, good words. I don't, I didn't like the phrases. You, you put two low phrases in there to catch me off guard. <laughs> we did well. <sighs> I enjoyed this. This was, you know, quite Fun. gezellig. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe if people have ideas of other phrases either in chi, in in chi that you, they or think, in Dutch, yeah. But I was very practical. I was just trying to get you around. Dutch people, you know, please section. and no <laughs> and yes and I'm going to, and do you speak English? Yes. Why was I so practical? With but that? we can also do an episode on loving. What do you mean? In the in the other person in the other culture. person language. Oh, in the language. So how would you love me in chi? That's going to be choosy. Because <laughs> G, 
the the poetry of chi in loving is it's, it's it's almost like poems like it's, it's like we exactly okay i'm ready for poems i want to be loved by poems mm, you bring know, it on like uh unemi hima you I'm allowed to start now. Yeah, you know, like, well, something is happening, so <laughs> we should save that for the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those are some of the words that you should know. And uh, this okay, was we fun. already made our own um, next episode. Yeah. Okay, next episode, loving in the other language. Yeah. But if you have suggestions, comments, remarks, other words, put them in the C section. But you think people should know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this word. Probably doesn't like the word, but no. I think it's fine in the comments. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you. Do how you say in Dutch? Definitely, yeah, mensen. Yeah, definitely, mensen. Yes. Or doei. Doei. And in Chi. Uh, you bet ya. You bet ya. You bet ya. Which camera to look at? Ah, you bet ya. <laughs> <laughs> this was nice.